A lot of us take our doctors or dentist visits for granted. We may even put them off, but in other parts of the world, it is a luxury, not a burden. Our Doug Reardon spoke to one local nonprofit that's taking an old shipping container and turning it into a fully operational doctor's office for people in the founder's home country of Haiti. This is probably what you think of when somebody says shipping container. It's dark, it's cold, it's empty, bare walls. But this is what one local nonprofit has turned it into, a fully functional medical unit that's going to help a lot of people who, in some cases, have never seen a doctor before in their lives. They were going to be able to give the whole town water. Telsey Moore said, who goes by Telly for short, is a long way from his home country of Haiti. He fled at age 15 amid turmoil in the country's political system. I end up in a boat with... 350 people crossing the ocean. Telly beat the odds, becoming the only one of those refugees to end up staying in the country. Even his own family, for years, believed he was dead. He ended up in Grand Rapids, founding Figgy Jesse in 2014. What the name is, is Jesus' face. To raise and send resources back to Haiti. His newest project, unassuming to the eye at first, won't just change, but will save lives there. It's a doctor's office. I mean, it's just unbelievable how much work they put to this container, how beautiful it is. Never done anything like this. Builder Bruce Hayes helped Figgy Jesse build out what used to be a run-of-the-mill storage container. Really just like you would on a on a home, but it was a little simpler, a little, little smaller. Telly even had a hard time finding one because of a shortage, but now it's a few steps away from being a fully functional medical facility in a place that desperately needs it. Even see a doctor or have somebody looking at the mouth and be able to know what's going on and be able to do an exam or even have a tooth pull out. The unit will be named for Thomas Hamlin. He had a big laugh and beautiful blue eyes. The two-year-old passed away a few years ago from a brain tumor. His parents, Ben and Meredith, collecting medical supplies to go inside of the container. So the right support in the right community that Haiti doesn't have to be a place that you're you're, you're, you're driven to leave. It can be a place where you're motivated to stay. In two weeks, the container will be complete, filled, and then sent out on a daunting journey from West Michigan. And then they're going to put it in a train from Chicago to New York. And then from New York, they're going to put it in a boat, take it to Jamaica. And then from Jamaica, it's going to get to Haiti. Finally, to a concrete foundation waiting for it, along with a clean water well and a few other buildings, Figgy Jesse has already brought over. For many people, it will be their first time seeing a doctor or a dentist. Some countries have so much, and you go to a country that have so little. We just want to go and just give people hope. We just want to love on people. Doug Reardon, Fox 17 News. That entire unit runs on solar panels that will be attached once it's down in Haiti. It is a two-week journey from West Michigan to the island.